Hello everyone, I am Dr. Jagda Saravanan, Associate Professor in the Department of Mathematics. The topic for discussion is Vector Calculus, in which in detail we will discuss about definition of divergence and curl of your vector. Problems based on vector integral theorems, that is also we are going to discuss. What are the vector integral theorems? About that, the problem based, we will solve it. First, in the vector calculus, vector, that is, any particle moves not only magnitude, its direction, which direction it moves. So, it represents vector. Now, divergence of your vector is nothing but, now, f vector, let f vector be any continuously differentiable vector point function. That is, a function which is vector function, that means it has magnitude at direction, that is differentiable and as well as it is continuous. Then we can say that is i, j, k, they are mutually perpendicular vectors. They are dot product, that is i dot dou f by dou x plus j dot dou f by dou y plus k dot dou f by dou z, which is called divergence of f vector and which is written as div f. So the div f, it's nothing but, that is, it's all here, i do by do x plus j do by do y plus k do by do z. This is gradient. Towards this vector function f, then the dot product is divergent f. So we can see it, that is the gradient dot product the vector function f, it's nothing but divergence of your particular vector. Here, we gave the particular vector, we have taken f. Next, the definition of curl of your vector. If f vector be any continuously differentiable vector point function, then I cross do f by do x plus j cross do f by do y plus k cross do f by do z, which is called the curl of f vector. So we have to keep in our mind very clearly that the dot product, which is related to divergence, whereas cross product which relates to curl of your vector. It's an easy differentiation. That is dot related to divergence, cross related to curl. Now, the curl F, that is mathematically, this is a symbol of gradient in short form. We will call it as grade. There is a grade cross F. Now we can see here, curl f which is equal to i cross dou f by dou x plus j cross dou f by dou y plus k cross dou f by dou z. Just now we will uh, do your problem that is find dive r vector where r vector which is equal to xi plus yj plus zk. This 
particular the given vector we have to do divergence so the divergence before that what is given this is our given vector function there is r vector which is defined in the variables x y z along with the mutually perpendicular vectors i j k so in general formula in generally the formula we will take uh, f bar the f bar it's nothing but we can express f bar as f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k so we here it is written from which we can get what is f1 what is f2 and what is f3 so dive here we can say it divergent so the dive we know it great here here or is there that we have written here that we are going to take inside so we can write it better this is the way also that is the gray dot r which is equal to gray dot r if you multiply we will be getting this the previous step so this r vector it's nothing but according to our problem it is xi plus yj plus zk but in general we will be taking according to formula wise we will be taking f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k that's what which is written here if you want to hear the straight this is also can be done that is also correct nothing wrong in it so now so the previous step uh, what uh, which is given here here we will be doing the dot product that is i dot i we will be doing and j dot j and k dot k only the dot product exist that is i dot i exist the value is 1 j dot j exist k dot k exist so after multiplication we obtained that is uh, do f1 by do x plus do f2 by do y plus do f3 by do z so what is our f1 according to our problem that is our problem is r vector which is equal to xi plus yj plus zk from which we obtained what is f1 so the f1 which is equal to x f2 which is equal to y and f3 which is equal to z here x is there we have to do differentiation partially so the do the symbol which represents partial so with respect to x we have to do it so the differentiation the result is 1 here also the term is y we have to do partially with respect to y so the result is 1 the same procedure the same manner we will do the partial differentiation for this so for that we will obtain the term is z we have to do partially with respect to z we obtain 1 so the result is 3 now so the first problem we have done it so the result the divergence of your particular given vector that is r vector which we have obtained the result 3 so the next uh, we will move to the second problem that is if f vector which is equal to x y square i plus 2 x square y z j minus 3 y z square k so the function which is given here here we are asked 
uh, to do, find curl F at the point 1 comma minus 1 comma 1. So for the given function, we have to do curl F. So F equal to general F1i plus F2j plus F3k. In general, we will uh, be taking and we will compare this with our given problem. So our given problem is this is the vector function. Now we will do the comparison. F1 is playing a role in our problem is x, y square. F2 is playing a role 2x square, y, z. And F3 is playing a role minus 3y, z square. So we have to find curl F. So the curl F is nothing but we can see it grade cross F. Yeah, we can see it grade cross F. So I, J, K, do by do X, do by do Y, do by do Z. And in this particular place where I am circling, here they are uh, how we have taken these terms. That is according to our question. What is the role? That is a mutually perpendicular vector i component. That is the defined for the mutual perpendicular vector i. That is uh, x y square. For j, that is 2x square y z. And for the third dimension, that is our z axis. That is a related to normal vector is k. For which in our problem, which is defined minus 3 y z square. Thus, we have to find determinant. So, cross product related to curl, very easy to remember, dot product related to our divergence. So, now uh, we will do the cross multiplication. So, the cross multiplication, here is there, i is there. So, here, so for the determinant purpose, how we will be doing here, i is there. That particular position, the sign is plus. So the particular row, particular column should be neglected. The rest we have to do the cross multiplication. That is this cross multiplication we have to do it. So the y the differentiation is 1. 1 into the term is nothing but minus 3 z square. So this cross is over. That answer we wrote it here. Minus this up cross we have to do it. So the between there the negative sign it is in the determinant formulation itself it is there. So the next this we have to do partially with respect to z. So when we are doing partially this with respect to z, z is 1. 1 into 2x square y. Yeah, fine. We are tied it. This negative sign, which is related to just now, I explained it. The negative sign is playing the role in the formula, uh, formulation of determinant. So, Complete the work regarding i vector position is over. Next, we have to move to j vector. Yes. Next to the j vector, the j vector, the position is minus sign is there. That's what here minus j vector. The complete the j column and row, we will be neglecting. So, the left over, we have to do cross multiplication. So where I am putting the tick uh, that we are doing the uh, partial differentiation in which if we are observing here there is no x term. So that is zero. In between here the formula sign is there. So the formula sign is negative and this we are going to do it. 
here there is no z term so it is zero so the position which is signed here the j vector completely zero now we will move to the the last the perpendicular vector that is z axis related to normal vector k we will focus now so when we are concentrating the last one that is the particular row column neglected so this we have to do it the partial differentiation with respect to x in this x square is there x square differentiation is 2x 2x into 24 y z even though there are other variables we have to treat them as constant and we can't neglect them so it is here it is written here so yeah sorry here 4x y z this is a formula sign the next thus we have to do it with respect to y we have to do partially there is y square the partially the differentiation is 2y so 2xy which is written here now this is nothing but i of minus 3z square minus 2x square y this one plus k 4xyz minus 2xy this is the middle one completely the y direction is vanished so in the question what is given find curl f yeah we are trying the result for that and after obtaining the result at the point 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 we have to find that is here x value is 1 y is minus 1 z is 1 so what we got the result so the particular x we are going to remove by 1 y by minus 1 z by 1 so here it is there a uh, one square so it is becoming minus 3 minus 2 x is 1 but here the y is a uh, minus 1 is there so put together that is plus 2 here it is completed and here minus 4 is coming because y is negative we have to be very careful when a negative sign especially if it comes this minus sign here minus sign is there so sorry here minus 2 x is replaced by 1 y is replaced by minus 1 so this put together plus 2 so we obtained the second problem result is curl f this is the result at the point 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 in the place of x1 y minus 1 z is 1 we replaced the values in the particular places we got the result minus i minus 2k so next we will move to the next the third problem prove that curl r vector which is equal to zero vector so we can uh, see here zero uh, if it is only we are writing zero it is a scalar that means it has only the magnitude the value is zero whereas here zero vector this and this lots of difference is there vector not only magnitude it has the direction also that's what the study vector calculus so now we will uh, generally we will be taking uh, let r vector equal to x i plus y j plus z k so the curl r vector it's nothing but curl which represents our cross product so great cross or that is i j k do by do x do by do y do by do z 
x, y, z. We have to do this determinant. So when we were uh, doing the determinant for i, we know it. This here, there is no y term at all. We have to do partially with respect to y. But here the term y, not at all the variable, which is not here. That's what, which is zero. This is formula minus. Here we have to do with respect to z, but here there is no z term at all. So which is zero. So we completed the, what is the related, the steps regarding i, we completed. This is the position of the signed position is minus, so which is written minus j and complete the column and a row to be neglected. The remaining one we have to do the cross multiplication. That is dou by dou x. x we have to do partially, but there is no x term at all. Zero. This and this we have to do differentiation. But here there is no z term at all. So it is zero. So the finally we can see it k. We have to do the cross, this and this. So do by do x here, what is there? We have to do partially with respect to the x, but there is no x term at all here. So it is zero. And here also we have to do partially with respect to y, but there is no y term at all. It is zero. So before also we discussed about a curve, here now we are also discussing about the curve and completely these two problems which will give you a clear picture not only about a curl, about the partial differentiation, the depth we will be understanding with these two problems. So the totally, so here 0, 0, 0. So the result is 0 vector. So we have to be very careful that is uh, finding the curl. What is the result we will be getting in uh, vectors? Whereas divergence dot product we are doing, we will be getting the result in scalars. And one more thing uh, we can talk about this uh, curl. What is the result we are getting? If you are getting the result is uh, zero, we can tell the particular thing is uh, irrotational. So now uh, the vector calculus, divergence and curl about that we discussed it so far. Now the vector calculus, the integral theorems are there. Gauss divergence and Stokes theorem, Green's theorem. These are the three main theorems which are playing the role in vector calculus. For that, first a simple problem we will take Using Green's theorem, evaluate this one. That is integral over C. C means it's a curve. The function which is given 2xy minus x square of dx plus x square plus y square. So this is the function which is given. Where C is the closed curve of the region bounded by the curves y equal to x square and y square equal to x. Here it is there. The solution is, so what is given in the question? This is a line integral because line integral formula is integral over c f dot dr. So integral over c, the line integral which is given and for that the curves, two curves are given, y equal to x square and y square equal to x, that is the curves 
they are in the form of parabola. This is the information which is uh, we obtained from our given question. We have to using Green's theorem evaluate that line integral. So the transformation between line integral and double integral is our Green's theorem. The two parabolas is nothing but y equal to x square and y square equal to x. This step, how we obtained from our question. This how we have written this sentence. That is transformation between line integral and double integral. Because in our question, there is some words using Green's theorem. Because of that Green's theorem, we have written this one. So at the point uh, 0, 0 and uh, P of 1, comma 1. So we can see it uh, from which also So we can see it very well. Uh, these points actually, it starts from origin. If you solve these two curves, we will be obtaining this point one comma one. Fine. Now we can see it here. Bounded by y equal to x square and y square equal to x. By Green's theorem, this is the formula for Green's theorem. This exactly, it matches to our given problem. That is integral over C, the function which is given in this format. That is m dx plus n dy, which is equal to, this is the integral, double integral. This capital R represents region. Dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y dx dy. Because this region, double integral, it is in two dimension. So for that, first looking at these curves. So the first curve is y equal to x square. This is y power 4 equal to x square. We can write it. Because mathematically, any one side, if it is uh, the position either left or right, the positions are equal, another side we can equate it. So here we can write y power 4 minus y equal to 0. y we can take it common out, y cube minus 1 equal to 0, y equal to 0, y cube equal to 1, so y equal to 1. Because the starting only, the points 0, 0 is there, 1, 1 it is there. So when y equal to 0, x is also 0. When y equal to 1, x is also 1. Why we are finding first these values? Because here one curve, here another curve. The two curves, where they are, at which point they are intersecting. Now, uh, we have taken it as a two dimension. We are not taking three dimension. The reason here, the simple, the integration is double integral is there. Moreover, if you are looking here, the dimensions dx, dy. So here we are drawing the graph according to this bounded region in two dimension. This is our x axis, y axis, and this is our origin. We named it as O. So the coordinate is 0, 0. Now we are taking here one parabola. That parabola is this parabola. We can see this uh, parabola which cut at x axis. So x equal to y square. These are the small technique uh, we have to keep in our mind. How this is framed that we studied in lower classes. Very simple. We studied in a very, very, what is that? Uh, the high school itself, we completed this one. How this uh, graph, we obtained it. 
Let us x we will take some points that we will substitute in y. So at x equal to 0, y equal to 0, at x equal to 1, y equal to 1, like the points. Those points we are plotting and we are obtaining, this is the parabola curve. But when we are coming to the engineering studies, y square equal to x, that means the parabola which cuts our x-axis. Then what about the next one, y equal to x square, that means that parabola, the curve cut at, we can see it, it is our towards vertically, whereas x equal to y square horizontally. So this is a small technique we can remember. Yes, now this is a very clear picture about that, the two curves, the starting from 0, 0. Intersecting point, just now earlier we discussed about it. So it is mentioned here, this is y equal to x square. And here the point is p of 1, comma 1, that is the intersecting point. So now, using the Green's theorem, this is our, the format, the left side is our format of our equation. So better, the right side we will substitute. So we have to find what is m, already we got it. So the dx before what is there, m, the from the equation dy before what is that n. So the partially we have to do the differentiation n with respect to x we have to do it, m with respect to y we have to do it. And substituting one result we will be getting and we have to do the integration. First interior one, better the interior one curves we can put it. So the double integration is there. Here one value we are going to get here minus here one value. We need now the interior integration from where to where. Outermost integration better always we should not go the problem solving under complicated one which is the easiest way we have to adopt it, which will save our time. For that purpose, the interior one, better we will take uh, regarding the curves we will take. So the regarding the curves, in the sense here, the two curves are there. One is y equal to x square, another one is x equal to y square. So now we can see it here. This is the lower position. So the lower position regarding the curve, we will put it the interior integration, the lower limit. This is the upper part of the curve, the intersecting common area. This is our common area for the both the curves. So this curve, the upper one, we will put it upper limit. And the outermost integration. So the outermost integration, if you are looking, we will give importance for the real numbers. So the real numbers, so from 0 to 1 is the x direction, 0 to 1 y direction is the better. The real numbers regarding constants, if you put for the outermost integration, our integration will be very easy, easier. So now, uh, we can see here the arrow marks. So we can see here, arrow mark, that is, this arrow mark, it's very, very important one, because Green's theorem, the curves should be closed curves. That means, the meaning of it, the arrow mark which indicates to us, from the starting here, from O point it moves, it moves to the point P. And from P, it moves to O. So completely the direction you can see it, where it starts, it comes to the terminating, that is the ending point, coincides with our starting point. 
that's what this is closed curve this point also very very important if it is a closed curve green's theorem we can apply it so now green's theorem the right of position formula which is this one so now our do m by do y the result we got it 2x do n by do y we obtained is 2x so we are going to substitute in this particular places the values when we substitute here 2x minus 2x completely it is becoming zero so the interior integration itself the value is zero no need to do the outermost one so we can uh, bring n to the problem solving suppose in case instead of uh, zero if we obtain any values then first we will be doing the interior integration that is after integrating upper and uh, lower limit we will apply the result then we will move to the outermost one that processing will be continued if instead of zero we will obtain some values but coming to the point of our question so we can uh, see it this is uh, our uh, each and every step we animated the graph and we did that is the grouped one the common grouped one it is kept here the figure this is our question so we obtained this is our m this is our n so here dy should be there n here the interior one y equal to x square this curve the down one which is lower limit the upper one it is there here so y square equal to x y equal to nothing but root x that's what which is written here the value what we obtained is zero so completely the interior one the result is zero so zero into the outermost is anyway zero that's what we didn't continue the problem we stop the processing so this is the green's theorem formula that is line integral which is equal to double integral so the transformation between line integral and double integral so next we will move to a uh, uh, new problem that is apply green's theorem to evaluate we can see a symbol a small circle the closed curve c that is 2x square minus y square of dx plus x square plus y square it should be dy should be here where c is the boundary of the area enclosed by the x axis and upper of the off of the circle x square plus y square which is equal to a square fine see the reading the question apply green's theorem it, it is there the point to be noted they didn't tell verify green's theorem it is given apply green's theorem so the line integral which is given we know the formula for the green's theorem just now we discussed it that is line integral which is equal to double integral the transformation between line and double integral and what is the geometrical figure which is given that is circle in this also a point it is there upper off of the circle we are not going to take a complete circle only the circle above the initial line only we are going to consider it and the area enclosed by the x axis so now the line integral that is the integral over c this point is m m dx plus n dy there is a line integral green's theorem formula the left side of the formula is integral over c m dx plus n dy our m is playing the role 2x square minus y square our n is playing the role 
x square plus y square. So here m we have written and here n we have written. So dou m by dou y. So dou m by dou y, here we have to do partially with respect to y. So if you do partially with respect to y, the first one doesn't have at all the y variable. So we will neglect that one. Whereas coming to the next term, y square is there. So when we do y square partially, then that is 2y, already the negative sign exists there. So minus 2y. And what about here? The capital N is there. That is dou N by dou X. Here, X square is there. This we will be neglecting. The completely that is Y square. It's a different variable. We are doing partial differentiation. The dou is a symbol of partial. So we neglected this variable. X square, the differentiation is 2X. So by Green's theorem, yes, our Green's theorem formula, which is ready here, this part, the left position, exactly the Green's formulation, the left side formula, which fits to our given problem. What is the function which is given in this format, which is given? So now our problem, which is in two dimension x-axis, y-axis and the origin we named it as O, the coordinates of 0, 0. And there is a point A on x-axis because x square plus y square equal to A square which is given. That is a circle equation. Equation of the circle in two dimension is x square plus y square equal to r square. Our r square is a square is our problem. So there is a point a, that is radius is a. So the point a which lies on x axis, so we, we plotted the point a. Yes. Now the circle. Here, uh, how we have drawn this circle? The radius we know it. From the origin, the complete actually the radius will be same, the length will be there. So from here to here, A, suppose if it is R is two units, this is also two units, completely wherever it will be, completely it will be two units. That is a mathematical concept. Now, here we can notice it, only half of the circle we have taken, that half of the circle also above the initial line we have taken. Because the given problem condition is upper half of the circle. So the upper half of the circle is here. This is the, we can see it, the shaded the region which is colored in uh, yellow color. This region we have to evaluate. So the capital R represents this is the region we are going to evaluate. So we can see this arrow mark that is, this is actually complete. The radius is A, the unit is A. And this position is theta. If it is up to here, it is 90 degree, but up complete. This is, uh, what is that? The first quadrant and second quadrant, both are there. So completely zero to pi is our angle. The radius is A. So this is our Green's theorem formula. So the Green's theorem formula, this is our question. We need, this is our M, this is our N. According to the formula to substitute, dou m by dou y is required. Here, if you do dou m by dou y, 
this we are obtaining the result minus 2y from which dou n by dou x and this we are tying to the result 2x. So the 2x, this is replaced by 2x, formula minus is there, this result we got it minus 2y, this, this minus minus put together plus, so this is the result we obtained it, 2x plus 2y of dx dy. So this double integral we have to do evaluate. So if you do, this is in Cartesian form, that is x dimension and y dimension which are given in the question. But whereas mostly circles, sphere, if whether in two dimension or three dimension, better if we do under polar form, the integration will be more and more easier. So now we can see it, this is 0 to pi, we have taken the interior angle and here 0 to a, actually here it should be not a Cartesian form, here we have to convert it. So this 2 we have taken out. So when we are taking our 2 out, the remaining part is x plus y. This complete x plus y, they are in two dimension. In Cartesian form they are. Now polar form we are going to write the polar form also in two dimension only. That is r and theta they are going to play a role. That is radius and angle they are going to play the role in polar form. That is in Cartesian x and y dimensions are playing the role. Now, x to be replaced, y to be replaced and our this dx, that is dy dx, we have to remove using Jacobian of the Jacobian using the determinant we have to find that to be replaced, that is Cartesian dimension dx dy into polar dimension. So for that, uh, we are going to take, that is uh, x equal to r sin theta we have taken, y equal to r cos theta we have taken. So the two which is outside. So the interior integration when we are uh, noticing uh, that is angle theta from 0 to pi. And the outermost one is r equal to 0 to a. Here, x plus y which is there. So the x which is replaced by r sin theta, y which is replaced by r cos theta. dx dy which is in Cartesian form, that is Jacobian of, we have to replace it. So when we are replacing that, r into d theta dr. These two terms, here we can notice it, these two terms, the first one is r sin theta, the second one is r cos theta. That is r of sin theta plus cos theta. Here r d theta dr. Here r into r, r square, yeah, which is written here, r square, sin theta plus cos theta into d theta dr. So what we have done it uh, so far, that is changing to polar coordinates, that is uh, completely x and y, the dimension, x dimension and y dimension polar form, radius and angle, that is r varies from 0 to a. So this a, how we obtained it, we discussed it. And theta varies from 0 to pi, because completely upper half of the circle. Looking at the figure itself, easily we can say that is 0 to up to 180 degree it is there. So angle also we understood, 0 to pi. and 0 to a. 
may be here one doubt it may occur in our mind why we have to take this uh, interior integration as angle giving importance why we can't take this interior one in the place radius which is easy to integrate we can adopt it but a curse like that comes because uh, the previous problem the two parabolas intersecting just now in this video lecture we discussed the previous problem when the curves are dominating better we can give reference for the interior one for the easy integration okay coming to the point of this problem the solution so this is regarding uh, we are going to do integration with respect to r so the related to r terms we put it here here the related to theta terms we can put it we did the separated one this type of integration also we can do it now at a time we can do it this is uh, the two which is kept as it is whereas here r square dr very simple integration we know it integral x power y and dx which is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 here our r the power is 2 that is n is playing the role 2 so the 2 plus 1 3 by 3 so r cube by 3 and from the limits 0 to a so the next one if you are noticing here sin theta that integration is sin theta integration is minus cos theta cos theta integration is sin theta from 0 to pi the two which is written as it is here r cube by 3 we obtained it so in the place of r we are substituting the upper limit so it has become a cube by 3 so this part we completed and coming to the point of this one that is the with respect to theta what we have integrated here that is the theta place we are substituting pi 180 degree cos pi the value is minus 1 already minus sign exists minus into minus so we have tied plus 1 sine pi the value is 0 so the upper limit is substituting we obtained the value 1 integral the limit between upper and lower limit the sine is minus next the lower one is 0 this minus related to problem cos 0 value is 1 so here this one minus minus plus 1 that's what which is written 1 plus 1. So this put together 4, 4 a cube by 3. So upper half of the circle we evaluated 4 a cube by 3. Yeah, this is the problem. Uh, we will discuss prove that grade of r power n which is equal to n into r power n minus 2 r vector this is vector form this is scalar form now r vector xi plus yj plus zk and r this is scalar r equal to modulus of r vector that is r square which is equal to this uh, modulus of r vector it's nothing but x square plus y square plus z square so we are going to do differentiate partially with respect to x this r square is there that is 2r we are doing differentiation of this uh, left side r square 2r do r by do x 
we can see it very easy manner. That is uh, x power n, the differentiations, n into x power n minus 1. x again, we will do the differentiation, is a 1. Here also the same concept, n is 2. So 2r, again r, we have to do the differentiation. That is do r by do x. Specifically, which is written here, x, because partially with respect to x, we are doing. So now, 2r, do r by do x. This right side is x square is there. That is 2x. This, what I am circling, y square and z square, they are neglected because we are concentrating partially with respect to x. So, from which we obtained do r by do x, which is equal to 2x by 2r, 2, 2 getting cancelled, we obtained x by r. Same treatment, r square equal to x square. This only we concentrated partially with respect to x. These two are neglected. We obtained do r by do x, it's nothing but x by r. Now, we have to do with respect to y. Only the change will be coming in the place of x, x to be replaced by y. So, do r by do y, which is equal to y by r. Do r by do z is nothing but z by r. So, the question what is asked, that is a grade of r power n. So, the grade that is i do by do x plus j do by do y plus k do by do z of r power n. Now i j k i do by do x of r power n. This r power n, the differentiation is n into r power n minus 1. Again, r is do r by do x. It is completely we understood. This i we have written as it is. What about this symbol? The summation symbol which is given here. That is, again j, k, we no need to write at all. That is, it is understood i the next two, the mutual perpendiculars are J and K. So, up to here we have written summation I n r power n minus 1. This dou r by dou x, in the previous slide we discussed it, that is x by r. Now, this r we are bringing up already r power n minus 1 which is there, if you bring this denominator r to the numerator, it is becoming r power minus 1. So, r power n minus 2. So, n into r power n minus 2, here we can see it, this one. And here it is there x i. But the next step, when we are looking at, this is written as it is. Yeah, fine. Whereas, this part, only it is not at all repeated there. The reason is, summation i x, the complete starting to ending, we have to write it. That is x i, y j, z k. This is the meaning of it. So, this is xi plus yj plus zk. It's nothing but our r vector. The same problem, instead of taking summation, we can do it here adding j n into r power n minus 1 y by r plus k n into r power n minus 1 into z by r. This way also we can do it. That is also correct. 
So now we will come to a conclusion of our topic vector calculus. Definition of divergence of your vector that is grade dot f. Do f, what is f we discussed? That is i, j, k, mutually perpendicular vectors along with the components f1, f2, f3. So grade dot f, do f1 by do x plus do f2 by do y plus do f3 by do z. Completely our divergence of a vector related to dot product, the result will be in scalar. Definition of a curl of your vector, the curl, the cross product, grade cross f, where f is a vector function. Here determinant we will be finding. We have taken a problem, divergent r, where r played a role, xi plus yj plus zk. And one more problem, we have done it, curl r vector, which is equal to 0 vector. And one more, the third problem, f vector, which is equal to xy square i plus 2x square yzj minus 3yz square k. We have to find a curl for this particular vector function at this point. 1 comma minus 1 comma 1. These two problems related to curl which made us to understand the partial differentiation in detail along with the how to do the determinant also regarding partial. The next problem apply Green's theorem that is the line integral which is given in our question and upper half of the circle circle equation x square plus y square equal to r square. So our r equal to a with this point which helped us to draw the diagram. Yes, we have drawn the diagram with this condition which made us angle 0 to pi, our radius 0 to a. So the double integral because Green's theorem it is a transformation between line integral and double integral. Even though the question which is given in Cartesian form, we adopted polar form because the circle related to curves, if we do in polar form, the integration will be more easier. The next one, one more, that is the line integral which is given and here two curves. They are in parabolas. So with this condition, we have drawn the two parabolas and we need the intersecting point. That is, with the help of the curves, the two curves intersecting point we found and very important point, the meaning of closed curve, this arrow marks which made us to understand more Step by step in this video lecture, the graph animations are given. So in detail, we discussed about it. And finally, one more problem that is grade of r power n, which is equal to n into r power n minus 2 r vector. Here r represents vector. Here r represents scalar. So we understood R vector, it's nothing but mutually perpendicular i, j, k related x, i plus y, j plus z, k. We have done it. Thank you very much to you all. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.